Hey y'all, back again for another video. Oh, neat. All right, T-Rex82 here. Welcome back to the second installment of the weekly workshop review. I am joined here with the two greats, Excalibur and Jay Randall. Say hello, gentlemen. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's going on, guys? All right, so what we're going to be looking at today is a new workshop build placed up by Brown Eye. This is called the Mjolnir Assault Frigate. This is uh, a line that he's been doing based on Norse mythology. And this is a CV that you can see behind me here. I, uh, when I first looked at this on the inside, Jay, it actually reminds me a lot of your build style, but you'll see that when we get in there. Oh, I like, yeah, all I like the shaping. Well, I, I kind of dig how the uh, turrets are set up on the side. That, that looks pretty cool. And they're uh, retractables as well. Now, this is an unlock level 25 CPU tier 4. So, this is going to be your late game build, but there is enough firepower on here to <laughs> level a planet if you wanted to. Ooh. Oh, doubled up on the doors there. Lots of protection. Oh, it's a big hanger. Very big. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I like I like seeing like cut ins to the ceiling and everything like 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 that's done here. I think that looks pretty good. I like the oxygen tank little deals on the corners there. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I do like the uh, the use of the LCDs on each side. Just using the regular cargo, which is fine. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's good. They kind of labeled for like HV ammo and HV fuel. That's cool. Nice and organized. The fuel tanks built in the walls. He said a good job with like these. Uh, ooh, look at that! Never even noticed that. <clears throat> You've got the uh, generators in the walls hidden behind these window blocks. Oh, that's a nice oh, way yeah. to do it. Ooh, there's buttons. There's lots of buttons. Oh yeah, repair bay, fabrication on this side, and then HV ramp and hangar door on the other side. That's cool. I, I like to see that uh, asymmetry. <laughs> asymmetry, yeah. Yep, yeah, HV. Oh, it does have an HV ramp. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Oh, very cool. For I don't. Your tier one HV needs. That's right. <laughs> Nothing else is fitting in there. In your tier four <laughs> capital vessel. <laughs> Very cool. All right, so we've got a little section marked off for the medical bay, which is kind of cool. I would like to see it done up a little bit more, but it's it's efficient, it's functional. All right, let's go upstairs. Hangar level. Oh, that's where we're on. That makes sense. No, man, I'm going to hang out by the clone generator. <laughs> Main yeah. level. Oh, cool. Lots oh, of nice. options here. Oh, I like where the shield is. There's the bridge. Oh, um, yeah. I don't know if it's the bridge or if it's like... No, it's not the bridge bridge. It's oh, that's the hangar. Like tactical bridge, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe more of a secure kind of bridge, and uh, so you can control it here in third person. More I like switches. the levers and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, I do like that. I think I would have rather seen them on the ceiling, but that's just personal preference. It's cool. I like it. Yeah, there's there's that deco block too that you could use where it fits on the back of it. That looks really cool. Oh right. Yeah. You'd probably need more than one square for that. I like how it updates the uh, the display when you hit a switch, though, too. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have yet to figure that out. I will do that one day. I the core is right above your head, so it's centrally protected. It's right in the middle of the ship. Yeah, that's a good plan for it. Yeah, I would guess that this is probably like more of a, a third-person uh, cockpit for the ship. Because mm -hmm. usually the first-person ones are just vulnerable because of the uh, glass and things. A couple passenger seats. So we've got... Ooh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> Grow plots. Nine here. One ration action there. One ration action. Good use of the storage. I don't use these enough, these uh these blo these boxes. Very cool. It's functional, it looks yeah. good. But if only I could just sit, it'd be nice. Bathroom. Be I like I like over here. Be comfortable. Where you at? Do, 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 do. Oh, it's on the other side. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, me? Yeah. yeah. Over here, <laughs> ah, yes. Lots of doors. Ooh, ooh. The exposed oh, thrusters. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that does look good. Yeah, showing off the, I guess this would be the front of the ship, right? The folks all here. Got the nice big ass tier three right here. It looks really cool. Now, this is properly done. I I do like the modeling on the uh, the thruster backs. I think that that does look pretty good. Oh, you can go in here. Oh, spinny things. Gotta love it. Yeah. Repair the uh, shield. Yeah, that's the, the thing I do. Shield. A lot of my builds, I tend to hide everything. <laughs> like the thrusters, I would never leave them exposed. They look great. It's just, I don't know. I just never do. I block them all yeah. in. Yeah, I like this. I like the tier three. That looks really cool. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, gravity I've, I've kept them exposed on some ships in some places, just just so you can look at like all the detail on the back of the thrusters. But uh, I usually try to put up some guardrails or something around them. Yeah. Well, you know what I was thinking is you could totally just make a motion sensor for when you walk through the engineering door, it would automatically shut off all of the uh, thrusters and stuff. You could do uh, yeah. that with Signal Logic pretty easy. It would could. be kind of cool just to make it like a you know, safety thing. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Never uh, never thought about doing that before. But then uh, how would you get that to work with like another switch if you had like a main power switch for the thrusters somewhere else? All right, now you're going into like Dracona's territory. I don't know. I feel <laughs> right. like an inverter, inverter <laughs> signal or some shit. It, it, it's doable. Trust yeah. me. I'm, I'm sure it is. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Uh, lots of stuff to read. Yes. Like, lots of stuff to read here. Got a pluff. Plethora, plethora of information. <laughs> plethora. <laughs> all I can, yeah. all I can think of is uh, the Three Amigos movies when I say that movie. <laughs> Let's say that word. The plethora. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a good, got a good view. Nice. Yeah, good bridge. Good, uh, good. Like, got two seventy view. Is this the dark side of the windows? I think it is. No, you know, these heavy windows are weird, right? Mm. Like, if you do it, some, it seems to be dark on both sides now, or light on both sides. Uh, yeah, now it's lighter. It's lighter out here. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they need to work on that, because it's weird. Oh, at both sides. Okay, so you can just set it to dark or light, it looks like. You don't have a choice on side. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, and yeah, uh, some other... Hmm. Some oh. other uh, decision made by Elion. Yes. So there's lots of glowies in here. I like the glowies. I just wish we had more functional items that looked like this. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, I know. Like maybe if you actually went over to this and you could actually pull up your star map kind of a thing. Like you yeah. could have like the 7-Up uh, guy inside here telling you how to do it. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. 
And as soon as you do that, the Kool-Aid man comes plowing through the wall. You, you know that option that, that you just said, though, about having, like, the star map in here? What, how cool would it be? And, and I can't imagine it would be hard, but what if you walked up to one of these and you, like, hit, you know, the key to interact with it, and it actually did bring up your star map? Oh, that's what that, I mean. That, yeah, that wouldn't be hard to do at all, I don't think. Good. <laughs> We say that it's probably like really hard. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no. Oh, that's, that's easy. Nah, oh, Jay Randall, that's really hard. Jay Randall can do that in five minutes. Go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just thinking, you know, you, you know, like when you interact with a fridge or a cargo box or anything like that, it's got a key for it, and you could do the same thing with one of these, and it just brings up like some of the HUD menus, you know, like in this yeah. one's map. Yep. Yeah. No, I got you. It would be a cool idea. It does seem like it would be a simple fix, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah. We got here decks, bridge, landing pad. Bridge this way, landing pad that way. Yeah. Double, double airlock action there. Very cool. All right. So it's a small pad. I guess you don't need something huge. Yeah, it's fitting most most good size SVs. I mean, that's good. It's a pretty small CV. I mean, if you look at it, it's not it's not a huge CV at all. It's small. Yeah, just to, just a size class four. Yeah. Yeah. Well, size class four. Yeah. With a lot of firepower. Now, I haven't actually flown this. My concern here is that it just seems like it's not going to have a lot of lift. Which is well, a concern. Yeah. Well, I mean, what does it have for cargo? Did we really, did we really see much cargo? I didn't really. I actually did not. I actually just saw the boxes and the walls, and I'm sure I missed it somewhere. It's got to be in here. It's got to okay, be. so there's a two hundred thousand CV ammo cargo system. There's an eighty thousand fuel, and then there's an eighty fabricator in and eighty fabricator out. Oh, I see them. I found them in so, the car. Not a lot. Not a lot, but I mean, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's got like one and a half complete cargo space. It does Which, have 200,000 ammo storage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which does make it's sense. It's got a lot of medium thrust. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. It, 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 I figure, depending on what you have in there, you know, it should be able to. I mean, yeah, yeah. Worst case scenario, you literally copy paste this and buck it out. By one block on each side and throw in some bigger thrusters for downward, and you'd be all set. So, forward, not bad. All right, so it's it feels heavy, which is good. I mean, I prefer that to be honest. I don't like CVs that turn on a dime, it just doesn't feel natural. <coughs> Nemesis, <laughs> yeah, barrel roll. Oh, god, hey, it doesn't turn that. <laughs> It doesn't turn that way anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it did it. All right. I see Jay Randall flying around out there. It looks like a little bug on the windshield. <laughs> a man on the wing. <laughs> All right. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks nice flying. It's uh, nice and smooth and uh, looks really. Now, he does have a whole line I did see that's, like I said, based on the Norse mythology. So uh, Mjolnir, if I'm not mistaken, I think is Thor's hammer, um, which makes sense. It's fitting. Uh, but he's got a lot of really cool shapes. So I encourage everybody out there listening to go check him out. There will be a link down in the description as well. Anything else you guys like to say in closing? No, I mean, really cool. I've never seen anything from uh, from this guy before. So, I mean, it's really cool to see somebody else that's uh, taking some time to build some really cool stuff. I like it. Yeah, I think overall it's a, it's a really cool-looking ship. Um, I like the uh, aesthetics of it. And the, it's you know, it looks nice. It's uh, detailed nicely. It's got a lot of guns and looks like a lot of a lot of rust power in, in most directions. All right, so that's where we're going to leave it there. Thank you, Brown Eye, for this great, great build. Uh, check in with us next time. 
to take a look at another build, which will be over on Jay Randall's uh, page this time as we cycle through them one by one, where we search for the deepest and darkest recesses of the workshop to see what we can find. We like to try to find those people who haven't exactly gotten a lot of uh, exposure in the past who just need a little bit of help there, and uh, I look forward to doing it again. So until next time, keep your heads above the hard deck, and we will catch you later. Take care, guys. See you later, everyone. Keep on thinking it should have a standard like medical uh, station nearby here too, but no, it, oh. it's got all the the, the goodies. Oh. <laughs> um, we got a problem, guys. What's uh uh what the uh, uh, uh did, oh? Did you find a clone generator or something here? Oh oh. Brown eye. Why? Ooh. I don't understand. <laughs> Why would you do this to us, Brown eye? Things were going so well. Somebody doesn't know. <laughs> Uh, it's yeah. okay. <laughs> I feel like there's a whole big group of people out there that have no idea what this is. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't know about it until you started um, hiking <laughs> on people that were using it. And then I learned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do you know if they actually work as a fridge or is it just more of a, like a cargo box? I believe it's a fridge. At least one of them is. I thought. I that that's a good question. I don't know. I don't think so. It's deco, huh. so I don't think it. Eh. Huh. Interesting. No, I'm thinking they ought to they ought to be uh, functionable. I mean, all it has to do is keep the food from not spoiling, and it's all set. Right. Ooh. Hold little... on, I'm writing down functionable. Functionable. <laughs> Hey, uh, spell that? <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, you made it up. I figured you'd know how to spell it. I, I make up lots of words as I go. Cool little galley kitchen and living area. I like it. <clears throat> Trying to be the uh, decisioner. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes again. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I love how Elyon gave us like guardrails, guardrails, so we don't radiate ourselves, and then you still get radiated. <laughs> right. <laughs> that that is a good like, point. Uh, yeah. Caution. Oh, yeah, just right here is fine. You're good as long as you're behind here. You know. Cool. <laughs> yeah, 200 degrees Celsius is plenty. Plenty. Normal. Yeah. Uh, I fell out. You guys are flying away. <laughs> I'll follow you out in the air here. I, I can fly like Superman. All right.